Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you everything I eat in a day as a vegan and just sort of what I get up to. I wasn't really planning on vlogging today but I woke up this morning and I was like, I really wanna vlog. So I was like, if I'm feeling that, might as well indulge in the opportunity. So I just did my morning yoga practice, took a shower and I've been answering a few emails. Um, but I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I'm doing a series of holiday giveaways. So I'm actually doing, I think, 13 giveaways in total from December 1st through December 25th. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, if you want to win free swag, you probably should. The link will be below. Um, some of the giveaways are international as well if you live outside of the U.S. But today I am posting a giveaway with Health Aid Kombucha, which is my favorite brand of kombucha. And I took a picture for it and I like it, but I want to take another picture for it. So I put on my Health Aid shirt and I'm going to take a picture really quickly before I get on with the rest of my day. So I got my bottle of kombucha right here. I just set my tripod up and this is actually some parking spaces, but I like the green background. So I'm going to use this as the backdrop for my photo. And in case you guys are curious, my camera has Wi-Fi, so I can actually use my phone as a remote. So I just click this and then I can see what the image is going to look like and take it from here and set up a timer and stuff. So here's what the pictures look like. I took some up close and then I took some from further away. I don't know how I feel about those, but I'm gonna go edit them and then post it and I'll show you guys which one I decide on. This is the first image that I had taken previously and I still really like it, but then this is the one I just took. I decided to go with the further away shot and yeah, I really like this one. I feel like it has more like depth of field and it's more interesting. So I'm going to do this as the main one and then post the second one as the like second Instagram swipe thingy. Here is today's beverage situation for the morning. What can I say guys? I love my beverages. So to start out, I always have my liter of water and I divide it up into all of these things. So first we have some greens powder. Um, I use the Amazing Grass brand. This is their holiday cookie flavor and it tastes really, really good. If you don't like the taste of regular greens powder, you should try their flavors because they're sweet. And then I'm also brewing up some of my favorite tea. It's Rishi Tea's Turmeric Ginger Tea. I like it because it's nice and spicy and refreshing. I'm going to pour it in here once it's done. And I added some chaga, which is a mushroom elixir from Four Sigmatic. It's an adaptogenic herb, which means it adapts to your body and it's supposed to help reduce stress and it's good for your skin. So go mix that in there. Oh, and also if you use loose leaf tea, I would totally recommend one of these things. You just put the tea in here, pour the hot water in, and then this strains it out from the top. It makes it so much easier in my opinion. And this is a lot easier to clean than those like tiny balls that you put loose leaf tea in. And then I'm also going to have a shot of this Good Belly probiotic stuff because why not? So while I sip on all of these beverages, I'm going to be editing some photos and videos. If you guys just watched one of my recent vlogs, I sort of took you through a day in my life when I'm filming recipe videos, but I like to divide my work up based on type of content. So I'll film for an entire day and then one or two days later, I will edit all the stuff that I just filmed. So today's an editing day is gonna be a lot more chill and relaxed. In case anyone is curious, I edit on Adobe Lightroom and these are some of the photos that I have to edit. I have some monkey bread. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Um, some spinach dip. Let's see, spinach dip. And then I also have some budget-friendly comfort food recipes as well as some stuffed squash, which is somewhere in here. Here it is, some stuffed squash. And all these recipes will be coming to my blog soon, but you know, gotta edit the photos first. I decided to get a little fancy with my breakfast today and here is the final product. I actually blended a cup of the Forager Project Cashew Gurt with some frozen mango like I did a few videos back, but then I added in some fresh mint leaves and then I garnished with some extra fresh mint leaves and I added the juice of half of a lime and then I just topped it with the leftover lime wedges as well as some cacao nibs, coconut, and buckwheat. I tried a little when I was putting this into the bowl and it is so good, oh my gosh. I love the combination of mango and fresh mint. Don't use peppermint extract because that does not, it tastes like more intense than fresh mint. And it's like, if you put too much peppermint extract, it's really gross. But combining 
fruit with fresh mint actually tastes really really delicious and i love how this is more satiating because of the healthy fats from the cashew yogurt so good i can't wait to eat it and the lime just takes it up a notch so if you guys try this let me know so i lied well i didn't lie but i realized that i had just showered so i might as well film some video intros so i put a little makeup on to look a little nicer and also because i use um artificial lighting to help me when i film my video intros and when you use the fake lights like it just really makes your skin look really greasy and oily if you don't put some sort of powder on so anyways i just filmed a few videos and you'll never know what videos they were because uh i changed my shirt for everyone haha -ha. i actually do like to film a lot of video intros at once because I only have to wash my hair every so often and I only have to put fancy makeup on every so often. But now I'm going to go back to more video editing. I finished editing all of my photos, photos this morning but now I have to edit a lot of videos and I definitely am not going to finish that today because that takes a lot longer. But I'm going to drink this healthy kombucha. This one is the cayenne cleanse flavor and it's actually one of my favorites. I like it because it's spicy though. So if you don't like spicy food, you might not like this but I love it. Because I have been filming so many recipe videos, my fridge is currently stuffed with leftovers, so I'm just eating some of those for lunch. I had to make some minestrone soup for a budget-friendly comfort food recipe video that will be coming out, I think, after this video. But this is what the soup looks like. There is pasta, tomatoes, peas, onions, garlic, and carrots in it. And actually, this video will be coming out tomorrow, so you guys can stay tuned for that. And the original recipe doesn't have frozen broccoli in it, but I had some in my freezer that I wanted to use up. So I just defrosted that first and then microwaved the whole soup. And I'm going to top it with some nutritional yeast. Here's my dinner. And for the first time since I can remember, I'm not eating out of a bowl. Even when I make french fries, I usually put them in a bowl and eat them that way. But the squash wouldn't fit in the bowl, so I'll show you what's in it. So these are more leftovers from a recipe video that I filmed that will be coming to you guys soon. It's a maple roasted acorn squash stuffed with a lentil and rice stuffing and topped with some toasted pine nuts. The entire recipe made six, so I'm going to be eating these for a while, but I'm having two of them for dinner. And then on the side, I have a kale salad. I feel like it looks really large. I mean, it's kind of large, but if it was in a bowl, it would definitely look smaller. But it's just massaged kale, and I don't really have any salad veggies right now. So I just massaged it with some tahini, apple cider vinegar, and then I added in a little bit of smoked jalapeno kraut. And then added some salt and pepper as well. Update. I couldn't finish it. Squash is just like so fiber dense. I wanted the filling but I got super full and couldn't finish this so I guess I'll save it for later. I've pretty much been sitting on my butt all day so I'm about to go outside and go on my evening walk. This is why I go for my evening walks to be honest because I hate the fact that I'm just sitting all day editing videos. I don't mind the editing process but I just always feel super tired and sluggish and it's nice for me to take about an hour away from the computer screen, just listen to a podcast or some music and zen out. So I'm going to do that. I'll probably be sweaty when I get back but I'll probably get some sort of even in a beverage thing going on because I'm just I'm feeling the beverages today. So I got back from my walk a little while ago and I was so sweaty. It's still like 80 degrees here in the evening in Miami. It's ridiculous. But I did the dishes, rinsed off, and just took my makeup off for the day because I'm not doing anything else important. And then I made myself a little dessert. So I made a turmeric latte. I've posted how I make this before in a past video. It's from like a dry bulk spice mix. So I will link that in the description of this video, that video, if you guys want to check it out. And then as a few other snacks, I'm having this apple here. And I'm also probably going to snack on some of this dark chocolate strawberry granola. And it has maca powder in it too. It's by the brand Purely Elizabeth. They have some seasonal holiday flavors. So I'm going to munch on that, probably drink a little bit more water, and then call it an evening. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, my work days vary a lot whether I'm making a video because I'm sort of like running around all day and cooking lots of food. And then there are other days where I am not moving as much, but I'm doing a lot on my computer. So hopefully this gave you guys a behind the scenes kind of a glimpse. Let me know if you want me to film more videos like this as well. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. So bye.